Good morning, afternoon, and evening, guys. We're back with a random tier list today. Taking a look at another Smite character, Hell, the goddess of the underworld, a Norse god here. Mage, range, magical class. Very, very unique hero in that this character has stances that she can switch between, and that's something that you can see in all of her skins. We'll be ranking these 12 skins today. Uh, between her, lights, her light stance and her dark stance, we're going to combine them together. Whatever is in the picture, just like this, is what we will be ranking. If you guys like tier lists, let me know down below what you want to see. More smite, more gaming, more words that rhyme with orange. I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, pretty standard tier list here. S through D tier, I usually do this exactly like this for smite. Now, I do expect Hell to have some really good skins here. In fact, I think her base skin is A tier. Um, because she has two skins going for her, and this is a character that was at some point redesigned. Um, she didn't always look like this. She did have an older model that, uh, you know, was older and not as good. Smite's been around so long that they've done that. Um, but her redesigned standard model, it looks great. Um, you know, she transforms between the light stance and the dark, dark stance. I believe the dark stance does damage. Light stance heals. A tier. Uh, she looks good. The dual tech exclusive gonna have to put that in s tier i love the mech uh cyborg look looks very sleek looks very uh fast um and then you have obviously the the white and gold being the light and then the black and red being the dark her eclipse summoner limited skin very very excellent looking skin um this one right here i would go ahead and put that one into s tier as well i love how the black and the purple perfectly bounce off of the white and the red that's going to be a color scheme combination that we're going to be seeing a lot in her skins and it works perfectly well in this one so clip summoner is going to be s tier for me expelled i'm going to go ahead and put in a tier this is one of the more slice of life skins that they often do for uh champions gods excuse me um and this one being interesting because her light stance is a schoolgirl. however her dark stance is a, an expelled angry ghost demon you know something like that we see handcuffs or chains around her wrist so very very dark take on the dark stance there and the light stance being a normal girl essentially hell's golden skin i am going to put in b tier it's definitely not a bad skin by any means but as with all golden skins it is a golden blue color scheme and i just don't think that color scheme really works for hell as much as it does some of the other uh, gods, and that's fine. We've seen that before. I do think this skin is still pretty good, though. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in the B tier. Remember, C would be average here, B above average A. We don't have much below C because Smite typically does a pretty good job with their skins. And that is definitely true about this next one. Inner Demon, we have the uh, Light Stance as an Angel, the Dark Stance as a Demon here, a succubus-looking demon, um, which is, I believe I used this one for the thumbnail of this uh, of this video as well s tier i mean this is great this is exactly what her character is all about shifting between light and dark quite literally in this skin jingle hell here gonna go ahead and put in b tier a christmas holiday theme skin for her here and we have the light dark again the little santa hats on gonna put in b tier wish i could see more of the dark skin on this one but it's not bad skin it looks good Order and Chaos. This one we actually don't see, I believe it's the first time uh, since the standard skin, we don't see two figures. We actually see one figure uh, transforming different colors. I'm going to go ahead and put this one in the A tier. We're moving now towards more of a fiery appearance for the light and more of a dark, uh, almost cold, frozen appearance for the dark, and we will see that again in some of the other skins. I think this is an A tier offering. Pop Punk, I am going to go ahead and put in C tier. I'm not a huge fan of how the Punk uh, Dark Stance looks. The Light Stance does look better to me. Um, but yeah, Pop Punk just not going to be my favorite. I'm going to say, go ahead and say that's an average skin. Shadow Speaker, not really sure what I'm looking at in this skin, but it looks pretty great. Um, very, very similar to Order and Chaos there where you have the light skin and the dark skin fighting each other or facing off or, or whatever. Um, and in fact, they're actually holding hands or grasping hands. So I'm not sure if they're fighting or, or working together here, but 
uh, we do see again the blue for the dark and the red for the light here. Solstice, pretty great skin as well, A tier for sure. Um, this is just one of her normal skins, but we see more of a, the light, instead of being fire, taking on more of a Freya, goddess of nature type approach to this. And then the dark skin, those leaves have now started to wilt, they've started to change color, and they have also started to fall away. Um, so we see that combination between those. This is a very, very good skin in that it perfectly aligns with what the character is all about, but also uh, is very different from the other skins. So A tier for sure. And I'm going to put this last one, Sugar and Spice, into B tier. Um, similar to Jingle Hell, I just can't really see that much of it. So if I could see more of it, may put it higher. Um, if we're splitting hairs, maybe we put this in B C tier. But if we do that, maybe we put um, Solstice up here into A tier. But small, some small changes there. But overall, hell, having some fantastic skins. What do you guys think? Did I put some of these too high? Am I getting too lenient with some of these skins? Let me know anything you think, and if you like the videos, like, subscribe, all that good stuff really helps out the channel. With all that said, guys, either way, thank you for watching. This has been The Guy Who Makes Random Tier Lists, and I'm signing out.